everyone. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Always so happy to find you here. I do upload on Mondays and Thursdays. So when you subscribe, please click subscribe anytime while watching this video. You will be notified when you have your alerts turned on when I have uploaded new content for your view. And of course, my pleasure. It is indeed my pleasure. Welcome to any new subscribers here. I'm delighted to have you and I hope you stay for a good long while. I am wanting to share with you my experience with my um, car dealership this, this week, just two days ago. And, you know, I have been considering promoting good business online because the negativity, particularly if you have a complaint, it just goes so quickly, the yelping of things. I've always found that to be counterproductive. I've never, I don't think I've ever made a negative yelp, yelp on anything or a negative post. I just don't see how that could be helpful, but people do it all the time. Now, I've written, as I've shared, an entire series of books on treatment. You meant to treat that person that way, how to work well with others. If it ain't one thing, it's the people at work. They're all on Amazon. They're all they're all on Amazon. And it is for me to encourage a little more tolerance, a lot more of the golden rule, exercise patience, and to seek an understanding that that's all I'm asking. Particularly in this book. I talk about the characters of individuals and I actually have a chapter on the golden rule. I'm stating all this to say, my experience on Tuesday with my car dealer was absolutely exceptional. Now that should be the standard for business, but we know it's not. And so I thought I'd share with you my experience and actually give them their kudos, which I think they're worthy of. So on Tuesday morning, I woke up to an oil spill in my carport. And I was, oh my gosh, that was concerning. My car is still fairly new. And I took it in. And because I was, I was unsure, I didn't want to, in my mind, spend a lot of time re-explaining or explaining. I just asked for a manager. And the manager that came out is Matt. He was very ready to assist me. We spoke, we talked, we connected. He popped the hood, he checked the oil, and he said, probably the oil pan cracked. And I went, mm -hmm. okay. He began to look under the hood and inspect. He didn't send a service advisor to do that. He did it himself. He even took the dipstick out and he was gonna wipe it on his shirt. I said, I can get you a He said, no, it's okay. And he wiped, he wiped the dip, he wiped the dipstick on his shirt. Right then that caught my attention. That said to me, he's a hands-on person who wants to make sure that you realize he's a hands up. He's right here for you is what that's what now that's what that said to me. He began to explain to me various different things and that they would look into it for me. And I was fine with that. Then he said, your car is probably still under warranty. He actually, your car is probably still under warranty. So it may not cost you much. And I said, okay. I felt at ease. Now, particularly if you're not mechanically inclined, and I'm not, I don't want to know. I want you to know. I want to feel trusted that you know. I want to feel trusted that you're not going to oversell me. I didn't feel any of that. I felt that they wanted to care for my car and they wanted to please me in doing so. So we talked and we began to just Converse. We even mentioned the Super Bowl this past Sunday a little bit. 
So he called in the service advisor and I had told him my service advisor was Eddie. And he says, oh, Eddie's not with us anymore. And I thought, but he said, don't worry. Enrique is here. And I thought, now this is me because unfortunately we're acclimated to go to the negativity, what this means. Oh my gosh, I'm thinking. He said, don't worry. Enrique is great. And I'm going to have him take care of you. So out comes Enrique. Matt tells him exactly what we discussed. Enrique said, Miss Lewis, I gladly take care of this for you. He wrote it up. He took in the car. And I just skedaddled on. I said, keep it all day. If you need it, let me know if you're going to have to keep it overnight. Well, sure enough, they had to keep it overnight because the part hadn't come in. And I was okay with that. The point I'm making by this is that I felt the customer service. And in chatting with them, I felt good business, I would say. Now, this, this is just an observation at this point. The part didn't come in. So I had to leave my car overnight, and that was fine. I go back the next day to pick it up. In the afternoon, I would say two o'clock. And en Enrique is there to receive me. And he says, oh, Miss Lewis, your car is ready. I go, oh, thanks. And I take out my wallet and says, how much do I owe you? And he says, nothing. It's all under warranty. I said, all of it? He said, yeah. It's all under warranty. I went, oh, you know, I was in delighted. I was holy. You. And he said, yeah, and we washed it for you. I said, you did what? <laughs> he said, we washed it for you. I went, oh, well, thank you. Now, I know it was dirty. We've had these Pineapple Express here in California. Now, I know this is on the internet when I upload it, and so I don't know who, where you are when you're watching this. We've had this Pineapple Express, really a lot of rain here in Southern California, so I had not washed my car. It needed to be washed. I was just, my heart, I was just delighted. He said, we washed it for you. I said, okay. And he said, and we inflated the tires. The tires were low. I said, okay. And he went over, he said, you won't need any service for about another 3,000 miles. Come back at 3,000 miles so we could do another oil, oil service. I said, okay. Now I'm listening. He was very thorough. He said, he kept saying, do you have any questions, Ms. Lewis? I said, no. <laughs> Okay. He goes on to me and he says, oh yeah, and we we steam cleaned the engine. I was thrilled by that. Now, in my mind, I thought that was very special and they were treating me very special. But in my reality, I believe it's just them. This is what they do. And this is what we should be acclimated to. This is how service should be. This is how customer service should be. This is how we should treat one another. And this is why when I read on their website, we are a golden rule dealer. Our core value is to treat you the way we would want to be treated. And they did that. It goes on to say, at Harbor, everything stops for the customer. And they did that. So now I'm in this value mission, value statement, vision statement, mission statement of this dealer. And they actually made it applicable. That's the piece. I've seen so many companies and had, had to work alongside of them who who walked the walk, but didn't, who talked the talk, but didn't walk the walk, who had their vision statement, their mission statement, and they were not practicing it. And it began to become somewhat hypocrisy to me. And I thought, hmm. But here at Harbor Hyundai, Harbor Chevrolet, they absolutely did it. Now, I'm also learning, and Matt did share with me, they're a family-owned, family-operated dealer since 1923. So it's 
in them to do this. It is who they are. It is a part of their DNA, dealership DNA. And I was grateful for it. Will I go back? Absolutely. Absolutely, I go back. Now, having said that, in this book, uh, if it ain't one thing, it's the people at work. I actually have a chapter, chapter 13, where you can't see it here because the sun's shining. And it's actually entitled The Golden Rule Rules. You see it there? Let me see if I can situate it a little better. The Golden Rule Rules. And it says, it might sound trite, but the Golden Rule Rules. How you treat others is vital to their and your own happiness. There's even a, there's even a verse in the Bible, Matthew 7, 12, that says, treat others the way you want to be treated. And then on the next page, there's a little, the golden rule I have in there. These are cornerstones of culture, not only in America, but in humanity. Now I know it's it sounds up and above and you go, oh, it's just the, no, because it's not being practiced is what I'm saying. Even at work, people mistreat each other. I have so many videos. This is one of the reasons why I started my channel is treatment. You meant to treat that person that way. And how you treat a person determines whether or not they want anything to do with you anymore is what I'm saying. And so for me, it has been nearly all of my career in demonstrating and being that person, but also demonstrating that person and at times demanding that someone else do the same because it's absolutely unacceptable to treat someone poorly when they're doing business with you. Other business owners would say, it's, this is why your business doesn't thrive. Now, I have said, and I'm I'm going to drop in the description box, a video I did about three weeks ago called um, Core Excellence for Human Resources. And one of the things on that is how, what someone else is training you, you then apply. It's applicable knowledge. It's demonstrated knowledge. It's understanding of knowledge. It is showing the walk and the talk is what I'm saying. Even when you're dealing with difficulties, because our encounter could have gone any kind of way, but it didn't. And it was it was set up to succeed. So set up your staff, set up your company, set up your profit lines to succeed. You, you're profitable by people. I don't care what you say. I don't care. You're profitable by people. And just in my experience with Matt, my experience with Enrique, my experience with Eddie, who's not even there any longer, is that they receive the opportunity to engage with people every day, just like me, and do the same thing of showing their own golden rule. So I would say this. If you're ever in the Long Beach area, Long Beach, California, Southern California area, and you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, I'm doing a commercial. <laughs> I didn't need to do a commercial. I'm just, I was just thrilled. This should be common. This should be common. But since it ain't, I'm saying if you're ever in the Southern California area, in the Long Beach area, please stop by. If you're in the market for a new car, our service of your car, go see my friends over at Harbor Hyundai or Harbor Chevrolet. And I'm sure you'll have a wonderful experience too. In the meantime, you can find my books on Amazon. And for any employer that has seen this video, you keep in mind that I do have a, a special going on right now for any discount of services that I can come and help train your staff, help to recruit per people that you'd be glad to have on your team in any way that I could assist you in any personnel issues. My name is Sherry Lewis. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I'll see you next time. Please click subscribe. Bye.